Also at the Capitol, hundreds of bills hanging in limbo as we near the end of the legislative session. Our Capitol reporter Haley Wager with the latest there. Over two dozen House bills are headed back to negotiations after the House rejected some Senate amendments today. This coming as session winds down and there's still a lot of negotiations going on behind closed doors. Move to reject Senate amendments on House Bill 1798. Rejecting Senate amendments. I move to reject the Senate amendments on House Bill 2787 and request further conference. And sending the bills to conference. Senate to conference. Rejection was the theme of Monday's House floor session. With that, I emphatically move to reject. Senate amendments to House Bill 1080 and request conference. That bill will change the appointment process to the state's Veterans Commission amidst ongoing problems with the board. What we got back from the Senate was not agreed upon language. Also rejected a paid maternity leave bill that was originally the House's plan for attendance for alternative school students. And you know that happens here. Representative Dick Lowe says it's a common process. Request further conference. He wanted to move forward with the bill as he wrote it and leave paid maternity leave up to negotiations. The education negotiations are going on in this budget. We don't want to take any one piece in or out of their negotiations. With most of these negotiations going on behind closed door, rejection is becoming the norm with only a few weeks left in session. The process does work. Sometimes it doesn't seem like it, but the process does work. The House also accepted Senate amendments to a handful of bills that will now head to the governor's desk. At the Capitol for Oklahoma's own, I'm Haley Wager.